Hello, my video is about how to remove tire from the grid uh, without any uh, any special tools. First of all, you have to let out the air from the tire. So this is uh, you remove the this cork from the valve and uh, you can use a little like screwdriver and just uh, you see the can you see the little uh, little hole or what there's a little space where you can put this the tip of the screwdriver and you just uh, counterclockwise rotate it a little bit not too much because there's uh, some pressure like two two uh, bars of pressure so don't do it too fast just let it come out You can press this little pin. Press that pin, you can release the air out of the tire. It's gonna take some time, but be patient because it's important that the tire is completely deflated. So this is the tiny little valve, or I don't know what you call this. It's from this, you take it out from this hole. So, and the tire is completely empty of air. Next thing that you have to do is use the knife and just break the tire. Like so. It's a little bit tough, you know. It's a little tough. But you have to have a sharp knife. So I got it through and the other side too. So we can get out of this this surface of the tire. <laughs> of course you don't this way you you will ruin the tire. So this is not something that that will save the tire, but as you can see this tire is old and there's no use for it any anymore so it's I don't mind if I break it. Next thing you're gonna need is oh what's this? I'm sorry. I'm way ahead of myself. This is the tire, so it's like we don't need that anymore. Now we need it's the brute force. So you have to press. This. Just 
with both hands to press down. As you can see, I just bent the tire so that it's inwards the uh, ring. And next thing I need is scroll bar. I'm gonna jam it behind, jam it between this uh, bike tire and the rim and just a little bit move. Doesn't have to move a month so much, just a couple of millimeters and it will go inwards towards the tires center And you see the tire is like now it's loose the side of the tire. So uh, there's some steel band inside the rubber here. So it's not possible to just cut it with a knife. You have to have saw like uh, so. This is the next tool I'm gonna need. This is um, I don't know what what's it called in English, but uh, this is basically just saw, like electric saw, and uh, it's easier to cut the steel wire with this. It will burn out with the rubber, so don't be alarmed. There's smoke coming out of the tire. And always be careful with your fingers, don't, don't cut them off, just be careful. As you can see, it's, uh, it's cut, cut nicely, and this is a little bit, it's quite hot, because the metal gets hot when, when you saw it very fast. As you can see, this is that steel wire there, and you basically do the same thing to others.
why he's higher on the other side of the pirate side. On the middle part of the early middle part part is uh, there's a little you know uh crew here so it uh, gives a little bit room to move for that for this time. So just get on hacking. You end up with just the rim of the tire. That's it. It's like it was quite easy and it takes time like 15 minutes or so. After this, you can remove the rust from the rims and uh, just paint them. You have a new rims for your car. Yeah, that's it.